and welcome to volume two, episode 25 and a half of the talent show powered by T-Tech. I'm your host today, Sierra Sanchez. Thank you for being here with us again. This 2021, we've come to you every other Thursday at noon Eastern to focus on T-Tech's most valuable asset, its talent. The people who bring the skills, the drive, and the life to T-Tech. After all, people are at the heart of the T-Tech human experience elevated. That being said, let's hear a little bit again from about where everyone's tuning in from. So drop a message in the comments and let us know. We love a global audience. We just love to know that you're here with us. So make sure you share, we'll call you out. Um, and then again, we hope you are employing some of our T-Tech values by living life passionately and enjoying all of the joyous things the holiday season has to offer. However, it is important to note that the holidays are not always magical for everyone. If that's the case, we want you to know that your well-being matters to all of us at T-Tech. In fact, we have an Employee Assistance Program, or EAP, and it's available to all T-Tech employees 24-7, 365 days a year. So do not hesitate to utilize it. This is a resource for all of us, and please reach out to your supervisor if you need help accessing it. Um, I'll just let you guys keep commenting about where you're from. Oh, Tampa. Cool. Hi, Moni. Um, and on, we'll just hop into the episode though. In the meantime, keep commenting on this final episode of 2021. We're reflecting on this past year and sharing exciting plans to enhance the T-Tech experience in 2022 and beyond. We're joined today by someone whose job is to lead over 60,000 of us to deliver the contact center of the future today. Having spent over 30 years in the CX industry, he brings deep domain expertise along with a strong background in SAS technologies, video chat, analytics, and consulting. We are pleased to welcome Sean Erickson to the final episode, or the finale episode, not final, of the T-Tech Talent Show. So thanks for being here, Sean. Hi, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Can I you hear had to, yeah, no, I had to switch devices. So <laughs> why is it? Um, this is my third device now. I'm using my phone. It seems to be working. Oh uh, yeah, we're 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 gonna make it happen. So there we're you go. so excited that it all worked out finally. Take three. Um, and I guess we'll just hop into some questions. So you have a very interesting experience with PPEC. And this is not your first time at T-Tech as you were president and general manager of North America from 1997 to 2003. What about your first experience then and then your and then the subsequent companies teach you about the industry and then how did it lead you back to T-Tech? Yeah, so uh, you're right. I was here from 97 to 2003 is a completely different time. I mean, the company had just gone public. And I would say the industry when I joined was just getting legitimized. And um, what I mean by that is that not only was T-Tech or Teletech back then uh, had just gone public, but there were a number of other companies that were, had just gone public. And so the industry was really just getting started. When I was here before, the company was about $370 million in revenue um, and uh, just a very different time. When I left, it was over. We were over a billion. And when I left, I, um, I you know, I, I did a number of things between 2003 and 2020 when I rejoined. Um, the majority of them were associated with uh, technology or consulting. Um, but you know, I did a number, of, but I also did a number of different startups, including a work-at-home startup that I did in uh, in 2005 and sold it to a European BPO in 2009. So. Um, yeah, just very different time. And, you know, I think the thing that that has struck me um, now as I look back over the years is just, you know, the impact that technology has had on the on the business. I mean, when I was here before, I mean, we were we were uh, a very good operation, but we were basically a labor company. Um, and, um, you know, I was part of the team that put the first site in the Philippines. Now we have 20,000 people plus in the Philippines. So it just, you know, it really has evolved. I think, you know, learned a lot about technology, learned a lot about leadership, um, particularly in a virtual environment. Um, 
I did my first, I actually did my first work at home project in another company in 1995. And then of course had my own work at home company from 2005 to 2009. And then I was with a competitor for a number of years and their work at home group was one of the functions that reported to me. So, you know, it really has prepared me for, you know, this remote working phenomenon now that's just a, a part of life. Yeah. And then having joined us again in October 2020, like that was right at the height of, I, I, I just remember remote work was, there were very few roles. And then all of a sudden it's like, everyone has to work from home, home just pandemic wise and you had already been like space already in other capacities and other companies so business or those businesses to drive employee satisfaction in a new remote world because it's it's different than being an audience in, in person in office yeah it really you really have to think through the things that you're going to do to uh you know have the same kind of engagement that we had when we were face to face i think the um you know there, there's there's if you think about, you know, even how we celebrate or how we give feedback or, um, you know, how we train, you know, you can replicate all those things in a virtual environment, but you just really have to be very planful about how you go about it. Um, you know, if, if you think about just the ways that we got together as employees where we would have had, you know, maybe we, 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 we had some sort of a celebration and we did a potluck in the site Well, you can do a virtual potluck. Um, or if you, you know, if you, ha if you went out and had a happy hour with employees, well, you could do a virtual happy hour. Um, so I think there's just a number of, of ways that we have to be creative to continue to maintain that engagement. Um, that's so important to all of us. I mean, look, we're human beings. We need, we need social, you know, we need to be social. So, um, you know, but again, you just have to be planful about it in a, in a virtual world. Mm -hmm. Well, it's funny because it almost doesn't occur to you sometimes that my coworkers in the Philippines, oh, I've, I've never met them in person. In fact, I met one of my fellow T-Tech um, like on from my team last, last week in person. And it was so funny, just the concept of like, I feel like I know you so well because we work on all these different projects together. And it didn't occur to me that, oh, wow, like, it's so different, like when you meet someone, but I think it's because at T Tech, we do have that culture of like really, like a really strong company culture of getting to know each other and having those kind of like work, like working hard, but also really investing in each other. So I, I think there's a good camaraderie that comes with that. Um, and it's very much instilled here, I think, specifically at this company. But I guess I want to open this up to the audience a little bit. What is one way that remote work has changed your work-life balance? We talk a lot about, oh, maybe, you know, a commute, you cut out a commute and you're able to go walk your dog on your lunch break. Like what's a, what's a way for the audience? How has it changed or um, elevated your human experience while being at T-Tech? And then while everyone answers that, I just want to ask Sean, like just getting to know you, how are you planning to spend the holidays and what message would you like to send to the T tech team? Yeah. I mean, like, like probably a lot of people on this call, um, time with family. Um, I have four uh, kids and so hopefully we'll get to see them at some point over the holiday. They're all at the stage where they're young adults. So, um, they've got husbands or, fiancés or girlfriends and um so we don't get to see them all at the same time they all just kind of float through but i'm looking forward to that and then the other thing is i have uh i'm building a house up in montana uh i'm in colorado um i have two homes one in, in denver and one in montana so i'm going up to my place in montana and working on that for a while so i'm i'm very much looking forward to uh getting some downtime and doing that and then in terms of, you know, what would I say to the T-Tech folks that are on? Uh, thank you. I mean, you know, it's been quite a quite a ride for the last 18 months or so working in this virtual world and, you know, learning new ways of doing things. And um, the team has really proven to be successful in their ability to work through this adversity. I mean, 
we, we had a great year last year. We had a great year this year. And it's a testament to the, you know, to the work effort and to the attachment that, mm. that our TTAC family has to each other. And so um, really appreciate the work that everybody's done this year. Um, get some rest and let's do it again next year. That's wonderful. Thank you so much. And I think, like we say in every, you know, intro, it's like humans like are at the heart of the T Tech human human experience. So it's um it's that's really special as well. And so thank you so much for joining us today, Sean. We're grateful for your time and your insight, and we can't wait to continue to reach for amazing in 2022. Great. Thanks. Have a great holiday. Thank you. Have a happy holiday. And if it is your resolution to join us at T-Tech in the new year, let's take a look at some of the hot jobs on ttechjobs.com. So you're going to love this site the most, ttechjobs.com. This is where everything is. Who we are, career paths, just take a look around there. You're going to love it. What are you looking for? Is it in marketing? Do you want to join the social media team? Type in those keywords. Um, and or what region you're in, check out what's going on where you're at. So let's take a look at our first role. It is a bilingual customer service representative um, for Spanish and English, and it's remote. You'll need to be advanced in English and Spanish, Spanish both written and spoken. You must be available to work weekends and evenings and live in the state of Mexico. And we are looking for someone who is excited to be a customer service champion and finds joy problem solving efficiently. So basically, if you're a multitasking, if multitasking is your superpower, you should definitely apply and check out all these just certain these little notes in here, too. There's a lot of perks to, um, you know, applying in Mexico. Next, we have a partner marketing director um, role. It's in the US and it's remote. And so you'll join the mission of transforming customer experience and bringing humanity to business. You'll be and report, you'll be reporting to the global head of T-Tech Digital Marketing as a key contributor in developing and executing a strategic marketing plan for our fast growing CX technology partner ecosystem and focus on our Microsoft partnership. If you have previous partner marketing experience with Microsoft um, Systems, Integrator, or ISV, be sure to check this out. It's a very specific role, but there is someone out there that it's just perfect for, and you can find all of it and more on ttechjobs.com. And so that's it for our show and our year. I hope you enjoyed the talent show powered by T-Tech because T-Tech is powered by our talent. I want to take a moment to thank our guest, Sean Erickson, for joining our show multiple times and for all of you for hanging in there and watching, um, and as well as everyone who makes this show possible. We will see you again in January 2022. Have a wonderful holiday.